got a steep uphill angle, so I'm going to have to set you up on this bag. Get under there, I'm going to turn you down. Where he's at, see that big patch of timber? Then there's that open face right up above him. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's, he's only about 30 or 40 yards up above, and he's kind of feeding to the right. See if you can get on him. Now, I'm going to have you dry fire. Find him, tell me when you found him, and then we're going to dry fire a couple while I'm getting a range. Okay, I see him. So I want you to get real steady. <sighs> Control your breathing. It's a long shot, so you're going to have to be real careful. Okay? Mm -hmm. Control your breathing. Yeah. Okay, now squeeze it real easy. How'd you feel? Really good. Yeah? Do it one more time, and then we'll get serious. I've got 1376 on my yards. Yes? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go, so we're gonna go around once. And then we're gonna go to 13. Yeah, right there. Okay, 32 and a half minutes. Okay, I and Yanin. Everybody watching? Yeah. Okay, put a live one in. Everybody get ready. Back on him, bud. Hold right on his shoulder. Wait till he stops. Wait till he stops. Right on his shoulder. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Woo! Get another Got one. Got him. Get another one here. There you go. Got him. Good? Nope. He's going down though. He's hit hard. Dude, you smoked him? Dude, I can't believe you shot that far at your first elk and smoked him hard. Good shot. Thanks. Uh, way to correct and get back on him on that second shot. That's what it takes sometimes if, if you're just a little bit off just to make a quick correction, get back on him. You did a really good job. You only had about 10 more seconds and then he was in the trees. Way to go, bud. He, that first shot was just right under his belly, and that second shot was just right mid-body. Um, really good shot, buddy. He just soaked it up. He just kind of tumbled down the hill there, kind of stumbled off into the timber. We got us a dead bull right over there. That is awesome. 1,376 <laughs> yards. That's wow. the farthest elk we've ever killed. Way to go, bud. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Give us an update. Well, it's a long hike up here. Horrible, like this steep. But it ends up the bull's right there, so. Yeah, come down a little bit lower so you're not walking through the snow. Hey, slow. Slow. He's toast. He's piled up hard. Oh yeah, that's it. Woo hoo! Yeah. Big bull down. First bull, awesome, buddy. Oh man, what a bull. What a bull. Look at that, look at that number two's tying up there. Mega big. 
What a bull, bud. Hey, give me a high five. That was sweet. You know, most guys would say letting a little squirt like this shoot that far, that's crazy, you know. But we've got uh, our ranges set up, we've got targets, uh, steel set up out to a thousand yards, and then we've got one little gong. It's about 24 inches in diameter that we set, shoot at three, 1360. And uh, these boys shoot that all the time. So it's doable. You practice, you get a pretty good feel for it. You know, uh, he was putting them right where they were supposed to go this morning and uh, had to make one small correction for a little more wind and, and elevation and put it right where it was supposed to go. Hold him up. What a big old gnarly bull. <laughs>